In the industry, critical machines play an extremely important role. They are the core of every chemical or refining plant. Rotors are key elements of these critical machines, accounting for nearly 70% of energy consumption and being essential for the efficient operation of the entire system. We will explore the production processes at the Neotech facility in Plotsk, which, with its modern technological facilities and capabilities, for many years has been specializing in manufacturing of flow-through machines for petrochemical and power generation sectors. First, we will take a look at 3D scanning. Used for optical measurements of supplied parts, which are a starting point for reverse engineering. The collected data and recreation of the old geometry are used as a basis for the calculation process and designing of new rotors. Here, future operating parameters, compression ratio, pressure, flow rate, calculated power demand, and optimized performance are determined. After receiving documentation from the engineer, a forging from which a rotor shaft will be made is placed on a lathe and machining consisting of several steps begins. Interrupted only for thermal stress relieving for the material. Following this processing, the steel rod loses about 50% of its weight. After reaching its final dimensions, it becomes a rotor shaft. Impellers are manufactured from steel, from forged discs of required diameter and height. They are shaped on the lathe and then transferred onto a five or three axis milling machine. Some of their diameters are up to two meters. Here the impeller disc and cover are manufactured. Once all blades are milled, fitting and welding begins. If the relevant production technology includes brazing, it is performed in a special vacuum furnace at a temperature exceeding 1,050 degrees Celsius. Then the impellers undergo thermal processing, so-called tempering. After the cover is joined with the disc and machining of blades, the impellers are transferred back to the lathe to obtain the final dimensions specified in the documentation. The impeller is tested for correctness of its manufacturing on a station for low speed balancing. Here, impeller of a weight of up to several hundred kilograms are balanced and spin. Then, at the quality control department, all dimensions are precisely verified and all components are examined with a defectoscope to exclude any damages and micro cracks that could form during earlier tests. Rotors of critical machines bear extreme loads, up to the limit of the material strength, so any compromises are out of question. Now it's time for assembling the entire unit. The rotor shaft is arranged vertically, and then balanced compressor impellers are installed on it. Earlier, they are heated to 400 degrees Celsius in a special furnace for 12 hours to achieve even expansion and required mounting clearance in relation to the cold shaft. After cooling, the wheel will clamp on the rotor shaft with an enormous strength, ensuring torque transmission. The rotor is ready. Now it is transferred to a station for high-speed balancing. With bearings prepared, the drive connected and settings measured, the rotor is accelerated to its nominal speed and then the rotations are increased to 115% for the overspeed test. In these conditions, rotors weighing from several hundred kilograms to several tons can be accelerated up to over 20,000 rotations per minute. Everything is done within a metal capsule weighing 120 tons, called a bunker, in which vacuum is generated. The bunker ensures that tests are safe, while vacuum inside reduces flows and resistance inside to the minimum, so only a fraction of the power needed to operate it later in the machine is required to move it. It is ready! Rotors are delivered to customers all over the world and regularly maintained by Neotech.